Right, good evening. Right, we're out for another photo shoot. Not particularly a walk. Uh, I thought I'd do something a bit different tonight, um, or this evening. And I've come out to Tewit Town for sunset. Um, but I want to talk about tripods. In a sense, reminding myself of some of the, the do's and don'ts uh, of tripods. It, well, particularly in landscape photography. So, um, as we go along, we'll talk about that. I think I've got probably five. We'll see how it goes. Um, but it's quite a nice little spot. Um, the weather's reasonable at the moment. So, yeah, we'll carry on up to Chewit Town and see you a bit later. Right, well, as you can see, We've arrived at the town and the light's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, some quite nice light over um, Blancaster there. So what I'm going to do is just have a, a wander around uh, and see what might um, make a good uh, composition. So we'll see you a bit later. Right. Well, there appears to be some quite nice light. Um, over there on um, Causey Pike. So what I was going to do was try and um, capture that. Right, well, I've got my tripod here with the um, platy ball head on. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is don't just come put your tripod down. Because once you put your tripod down, you're not really going to move it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to extend it at the moment. Right, I'm just going to put it there. But this shot for Causey Pike uh, is a long lens shot, so I've got the um, 70 to 200 on. So what we're going to do is just look at the camera and work in out what I've got. Now is it there with that wall in? Or would it be better to move around here? Um, I don't know whether I'm maybe going out of camera. No, I don't, I don't like that. So, um, yeah, we're just trying out different, um, different perspectives. We know what the subject is. Um, we're going to use the town as, as the foreground. Um, now, I think I like that wall in. So if we just come round here, we can not zoom in all the way because then we'll lose the wall. But if we zoom in, we've got the tarn, we've got Causey Pike, and we've got the ones beyond. So to me, that's the shot. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my camera down on the floor there. This is what I do sometimes. And literally, I'm just going to... On top. So, okay. Right, so that was number one. Don't just plunk the tripod down when you get there. Look around. Because the chances are, if you put the tripod down, you won't actually move it and you maybe miss the best shot. So, right, so now the other thing. I mean, I've got a head that I can get level. Straight enough. But I think it's best to get the tripod levelish. Because if you have a bit of level, I don't know whether you can see at the moment, it's, it's a bit of an angle. And it becomes less at that angle. So we're just going to, we don't have to get it perfectly level. We're just going to drop that leg down. And then gives us a level tripod so yeah it's not perfectly level we can level that with the head but what I do, don't want to do is it being on such an angle it's in danger of um, a falling over so um, there's a bubble there and it's not bang on but it's nearing the center so now we can um, line up the shot right and the other thing, I'm just going to off. 
because uh, point number three is don't just I've put the triangle look and um, and see what what's happening so uh, so what I'll do is just take the camera off um, speak um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to video through the camera now I've never done this before so um, I'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure how it'll work but what we're going to do is see see that's the height we're at now what would happen if we come down here would that I mean that's going to give um, um, oh, it's something oh, there we are that's in focus yeah there's too much um, and, or do we want to go even higher? Because um, I see so many people that put the tripod straight up at um, maximum height uh, and then don't consider. And that's that's hunting at the moment. I um, um, don't know why. Um, but um, you get the idea. So you, down below you get a very different perspective. Um, but uh, you're blocking cosy pipe there and if we move up if we get too high um no so i think actually on this occasion we've got the right sort of height there so so that was point number three just don't um put the, uh, the highest point at and think about it. I'm going to try that. It's a bit bright at the bottom. I think that's the the, the problem. So we'll take a couple of. Sh we'll take the shot. That's one, two, three. Right. So we'll just turn it off there. But right, we've seen there um, three things. Don't put your tripod down the first place you get to. Go around, work out your shot, and then bring your tripod to that. And the other thing, as I said, if you're on on a even round, get it more the hand, but more on this level, because that makes it it's safe. Uh, that's that's what we needed. But sometimes you may need to get lower down or even higher up to get the perfect perspective. So anyway, what we're going to do is uh, I maybe try putting on a, a graduated filter, but maybe to, to, to block out the, um, um, the light on, on the tarn and then um, we'll try some other shots. But anyway, we'll, I'll see you a little bit later. Right, so we've come up from Chewick Town to this tree and the idea is to uh, get round the other side of the tree uh, and get it in a view with Blancathra. Whether we'll manage it today or a decent picture, <coughs> excuse me, um, we'll have to see. So anyway, we'll have a wander around, we'll get the camera out, get it set up. And then there's, uh, I'll talk about um, do number four uh, with tripod. So I'll see you shortly. Right, we've got the tripod set up. As you can see, it's a little precarious. Um, I've got the legs at different angles. I've taken the, uh, the centre column out because I thought that was going to hit the ground and because um, I needed to get low. 
um, in this perspective because I don't want um, the tree dissecting the mountain. So I've got low. And the other thing is make sure your tripod is on solid ground. It doesn't have to be <laughs> level ground, but make sure it's... Um, if you're going into a, a river or whatever, just make sure, move it about a little bit and make sure you've got it on solid ground. You may need to make the legs different lengths to get it levelish. Uh, as you can see, the tripod there is more or less level, um, although I've leveled the camera so the camera is completely level. Um, but the, the legs are well and truly in, in solid, but it's not going to... I mean, this is particularly important for... Uh, long exposures. Um, you don't want the tripod slightly um, sl sliding to one side as you do in your long exposure and it moving. So that was uh, tip number four. Always make sure the legs are on, on solid ground. And that's another one at beaches. Sometimes if you're not careful at beaches, um, you're on the sand, um, the tide may come in and go out and your tripod starts to um, go into the sand. So Right, anyway, that's the tripod setup. Right, um, well, that's more or less the shot we're taking. Um, and you'll, have, you'll see there from the back of the camera, it's F11, 100 ISO, and um, I think it was a 25th, 25th of a second. So, yeah, that's the shot we've taken. Uh, maybe we're going to hang around just a short while, see if we can get any different light, maybe get a better shot. But... Um, yeah, we'll take some shots and whichever's the best we'll put up on the video. Uh, and after that, we're just going to head back. I mean, you can see the town now. We're going to head back to the town, see if there's any nice light um, as the sun goes down. So um, anyway, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're on our way back to the town and I noticed again, because I didn't take a second shot of Causey Pike because the light went off. But the lights come back on and um, looking across the fields with the trees, I think it makes quite a good um, composition. So I did like it, I normally do. I got the camera out, worked out where the shot was, got the tripod up, worked the best height. Um, yeah, it's, it's on firm ground and it was more or less level uh, as soon as I put it down. It's obviously level ground. And then I've taken the shot. I'll maybe hang around, take a couple more shots as the as the light um, comes out. It's sh shining quite bright directly at me. I uh, could just do the cloud to move and then it might go on to Blencathra. So we'll take this shot. Uh, if it's any good, we'll put it up on the video. We'll see you a little bit later. Right, we've come back to the town overlooking it with Blencathra in the back Blencathra in the background. I've already taken a shot. Just gonna hang around here, see what the light does, whether it gets any better. Um it keeps poking through. Um we'll see what we can get uh, and if it's any good we'll put it up on the video. So we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well the sun's dipped behind the mountains and it started raining so I've taken quite a few different shots we'll see which is best when we get it on the computer so we're heading back to the van now um, but I just wanted to, to run through what we've talked about today about tripods first of all when you get to the, the shot don't just put it straight down uh, take your camera out or, or whatever wander around work out exactly what is the best position um, by I do it by looking through the camera and moving around then put your tripod up um, and the second thing we said was to make it level or not exactly level but more or less because it's more stable it's now good thinking oh it's not level but with the ball head I can get the camera level because it makes your tripod less stable more prone to to being blown over or whatever so always get it more or less level and then the third thing we talked about was making sure that um, the height was right don't get it too high don't get it too low as I say I see an awful lot of people um, just putting the tripod at full height putting the camera on and not even thinking about whether it's too high sometimes you've got to get low as we shot, saw in the shot with the tree needed to get low because we wanted the tree in the sky not intersecting the mountains so that, that was a, the third thing um, don't just put it to full height think about it maybe make it lower maybe use the center column to make it even higher um, and then the fourth thing we said was make sure that all the legs are on solid ground doesn't mean to have to be level ground but it's got to be solid you don't want a leg suddenly um, subsiding and the whole thing just falling over because it was on soft ground and not solid ground I have seen that happen so always make sure every leg is on solid ground so that's the four things we've talked about and I said there was maybe five and the fifth one is just if you've been somewhere and your tripod has got very dirty or you've been on the beach and it's got been in the sea always clean it when you get home if you want it to work well if you don't want it scraping and screeching when you take the legs in and out um, if it's got dirty if it's been in salty water always give it a good clean when you get home so that's the five tips that I try and follow which hopefully help give me better shots than if I just plunk the tripod at full height and and just took the picture so anyway there we go if you've enjoyed the video please um, click the th thumbs up if you like what I'm doing please subscribe and please comment any comments either positive or constructive criticism um, of what I could do better um, of what um, what sort of things you'd like to see on this channel but uh, yeah and when this video goes up it'll be going up on Sunday um, yeah so uh, when you see it all being well a week later I'll be in Iceland so anyway we'll see you on the next video